Hermit Craft TCG. We are here for a glorious special feature. Let's get it. Oh man, Hermit Craft TCG is an amazing online trading card game created by Vintage Beef. Now look, bear with me. We're going to get into all the amazing gameplay and all of that dope stuff, deck building, everything. But I have to break down this entire game from the idea of the game to its original creation to what we have here. Because what we have here in the creation of this game is nothing short of amazing. So please bear with me. Let me get the chop in this fable. We in the building. DB4. Die before me gaming. Salute to the subscribers, man. Hey yo, let me know if you vibing or if you subscribing. Shout me a holler in the comment section. DBMG, what up? All my RTS people, what up? All my RPG people, what up? Oh, we gonna get it together. Let's turn up. Now, let's break it down. Like I mentioned before, Hermitcraft TCG was originally created by Vintage Beef. He is a Minecraft YouTuber who's a part of the Hermitcraft server. Now, I'm gonna give you a quick history lesson on Hermitcraft. This can be an entire video itself, but I'm gonna just give you a brief history lesson. Hermitcraft is essentially a group of Minecrafters that play together on a very popular Minecraft server known as an SMP. Now these guys been doing it for years. These men and women have been at it for years now, doing Hermitcraft together, playing Minecraft, making amazing content. They're currently in season nine of the Hermitcraft series. You can look up Hermitcraft, dope content, amazing Minecraft content as a whole. Now, let's get into the idea of Hermitcraft TCG. Like I mentioned, the Hermitcrafters have been doing this for years now. They've been doing servers for decades now. But with Hermitcraft this season, particularly in season nine, something amazing happened. Now, usually when they get together on Hermitcraft servers, these guys make their own little micro economies. They make amazing builds. They make things to buy and sell to each other with inside the minecraft server and that's amazing within itself but this season season 9 vintage beef created the tcg game inside of minecraft to be able to sell card packs to his friends inside the game using the minecraft currency now that's when something made amazing happened now the way he did this is he used a formula known as map art now, map art is another popular form of content creation where people essentially take art and create it with inside the world of Minecraft using, turn it into pixelated art. You can look that up. There's a lot of videos online just with a bunch of Minecraft map art and a bunch of Minecraft pixel art. Now, what Vintage Beef did, he took that concept of creating map art and created TCG cards based on the hermits that play them on the Minecraft server and created an entire TCG game very similar to games like Pokemon Trading Card Game and Magic the Gathering. Now, let me break it down. What we have here. This is a digital version of what Vintage Beef created inside of that Minecraft server. Because what, what he created is only on that Minecraft server and you have the way they play that game is in Minecraft. A fan of that created a fan version of the game and it's a fully online digital version. We're going to have links in the description below that you can click the link and down and, and play the game automatically. No downloads at the moment and it's a browser based game at the moment. Now this is a game created by one person from what I can understand and he did an amazing job. Let's get right down to it. Alright we're here in the deck builder. As you can see these are the cards that Vintage Beef created. All of the cards over here on the left. I'm actually just going to remove these real quick while I explain. All of these cards on the left are the cards that Vintage Beef created that correspond with the hermits that play on the server. 
We got all the, we got Vintage Beef himself, B Dubs, Cub Fan, Etho, Hypno, Iskow, Rin Dog, another B Dubs, Cleo, False Symmetry, Jim, Green. We got Mumbo Jumbo, all of the famous hermits that play the hermit on the Hermitcraft server. He created cards for all of them, and he also created all of these effect cards and he also created all of the item cards now let me explain to you what's going on here we have like i said this game is very similar to pokemon and magic the gathering so i'm going to be using references from both games to explain these cards and how the game works we have the hermit cards here very similar to creature cards and pokemon cards when you think about the pokemon trading card game and they all have a specific type the types are balance type, you got builder types, there's several different types of hermits and they all have strengths and weaknesses and things like that and that determines what type of hermit it is. They all have different rarities like common, rare and ultra rare as well. Then we have effect cards. These effect cards are very similar to cards like spell cards or equipment cards. Some of them stay on the field. Some of them are single-use cards. They're very similar to Pokemon training cards, like the tool cards and other support cards. Then we have the item cards. These are very similar to the resources you use to activate said Pokemon or creatures in Magic. These are very similar to the Pokemon energy cards, or you would call this some very similar to the mana system in Magic. Now, that's these all correspond to the different hermit types. As you can see, we have balance type, builder type, explorer type. They correspond with the different hermit types, with the strengths and weaknesses and things like that. Now, let's get down to how the cards were designed. Now, the reason why I mentioned the Pokemon trading card game, because the way the game mechanics essentially work with the attacking and the health and the different moves you can use, is very similar to how the Pokemon game works. As you can see, let's look at the Vintage Beef card real quick. He has the Hey Guys attack. That's his first attack for 30 damage. And he also has the Mind Crack attack, his second attack, his special attack for 80 damage. The Hey Guys attack needs any resource. That's this blank thing right there, the blank symbol. Or it needs two balance type resources to activate this attack. Very similar to Pokemon with the energy cards. And as you can see, he has 250 health. Now, that's basically how the creature cards work. There's attack phases. Now, there's active hermits and there's basically benched hermits. It's going to be called AFK. And there's a lot of terminology I'm going to be using in this game to when I'm explaining how to play. That's going to be specific to Minecraft terminology. And I'm going to try to explain that as best I can by using other comparisons and things like that. Now, the first thing I want to do when you first log into the game. They create you a random deck, and you can just jump on and play with that because the deck is built to the proper specs and specifications. But I'm going to create a brand new deck on camera so we can get and understand how to build the deck and the certain requirements that you need. Because there's only a certain amount of cards you can have of each rarity type, and you have to have a maximum of 42 cards. Now let's go right into it. To make things super simple, we're going to build a Doc M77 deck. This is actually one of my favorite hermit crafters. I watch a lot of hermit craft content. I actually have an entire Minecraft channel on YouTube dedicated that I play with my children, both of my kids. We play a lot of Minecraft on that channel. We play Pixelmon and all that other good stuff as well. So we're going to build a dock. We're going to build a, a, a one item type deck to keep it as simple as possible. We're going to go with the farming type. Let's put dock. We're just going to put all the farming type cards in for now, and then we're going to build it out. All right, we finished building up the deck. The deck we're going to be running with is a Doc M77 deck. Like I explained, we're going to be running three Doc M77. He has the World Eater ability. Flip a coin. If heads, attack damage doubles. If tails, attack damage is half. So he's either going to do 40 damage or 160 damage. I love this attack. This deck is basically heads I win, tails you lose. <laughs> there we go. We also have another common farm type, Impulse. You have Shovel, Shuffle, and I Attack for 30 and 70. Those are the resources right there. He needs one farm type and any type and just any blank type there. We also have Iskal, 
Very dope rare card, especially for a farm type. He has Of Doom. He only needs one resource to activate. He also has two resources to activate Bird Poop. This does double damage versus Builder types. Now, the Builder types are the cards like this, TFC. Oh, I'm sorry. The Builder types are these cards. False Symmetry, Cleo, Vintage Beef himself. Gemini and B dubs. Those are some powerful cards. So he does double damage versus all of them. And there's there's a lot of builder type cards as you can see. So he's pretty good to have a one of. Then we got Joe. Joe, one of the most powerful cards in the game. He has Grow Hills. Joe Hills. And he has Time Skip. Flip a coin. If heads, your opponent skips their next turn. So I basically make you can't do anything either. But draw a card. That's it. You can't play tournaments, can't do anything. So this is very powerful. So if we get heads on either of these attacks, it's basically going to be game over. So heads I win, tails you lose. That's the basic strategy we're running with. There's a lot of other complex strategies we could be going with, but we want to save that for later episodes and later video games, actual playthroughs. Now, we also run in two tangos. He has um, Skadoodle, another cheap activation, and extra flea, pretty dope. And we run in Zuma. Zuma is a really good tanky card. 300. He has the most health out of all of our cards. And he's easy to get going early. And he doesn't take much to get going late. And he also hits hard for 90. So he's our second heaviest attacker. And he has the easiest attack to get going. And is very, very strong. 60 solid damage. 300 attack. Real good. And Etho, I explained before. Etho is good because he fits in any and every deck. He's an ultra rare. You can only use one copy of him. And he definitely is dope because as you take a look at this, he can use any resource to activate these cards. And look at his his resource. Flip three coins does an additional 20 damage for every heads. Like I said, heads I win, tells you lose. If he rolls three heads, this does an additional 60 damage, 130 with just slab. Amazing. Now I paired all of these good hermits up with a bunch of effect cards like armor. This is equivalent to like equipment it stays on the field and it protects from 20 damage every single time unless they find a way to remove this card this is another very powerful piece of armor netherite it protects from 40 pieces of damage every single turn until they remove it this is an effect called the bow it allows you to while you attack a hermit you can also attack one of the afk hermits. so you have to attack though in order to get this off then you have Chorus Fruit, allows you to swap out your Active Hermit with your Bench Hermit or your AFK Hermit. We have Flint and Steel, draw three cards, discard your hand, pretty powerful. Then we also have another right Sword, does 60 damage to the opposing Hermit, and that's added to your normal attack. So you add plus 60 damage to your normal attack there. We have a Healing Potion, Splash Potion of Healing, this does 20 damage, 20 health to everybody even active in afk hermits then we have three tnts it does 60 damage to the opposing hermit and 20 damage to ourself but if we pair that up with our armor cards that prevent 20 damage all damage taken not just attack damage we don't take any damage from the tnt so we got one side of tnt with also the netherite sword pretty dope and we got the item cards that we're going to need to activate the resources now that's our deck build, that's our theory behind this basic deck. We're going to do a lot more complicated decks in the future. Now, with all of that out the way, let's get right down to some gameplay. Alright, real quick, before we get into the gameplay, this game is a very early build, so you're not really able to save your progress on the game. So you can't save the deck we just created. So every time you log into the game, or not log in, every time you create a username and get into the game, you're going to have to build your deck from scratch again. Not too much of a problem. But you can create your own private games. It will give you a code that you can give to somebody else. And then they can find your game by select join a private game. And you can automatically put that code in and join the game with somebody that gave you their code. Now that's really dope because off the back you can do your own little private tournaments and get going with this game off the rip. The community has full access to their own little private events. Dope. Now let's get into random matchmaking. It's just going to match us up with somebody else and go right into it. And boom, that quick, that fast, we found an opponent. That quick. Now, our opponent is going first. Oh, yeah. Our opponent is going first and we are second. He played Prankster. 
Strengths, PvP, and Builder. Okay. We have Explorer type. Flip a coin. If heads green takes active effect card. So he can steal our effect cards. We have to be real, real, real careful about that. But we're going to play Iskal turn one. Put him in this column. What I like about this is you see the way the map is designed. The reason why it's designed like this because the, the creator of this digital version of the game, he made it look exactly the way Vintage Beef made it look inside the Minecraft game. So as you can see, these are actually item frames. And if you know anything about map art, you display the map art by placing the map onto item frames. And that's how you can see it. So this is how the game is essentially set up inside the Minecraft server that Vintage Beef created. And all of these colors, are they correspond to the way Vintage Beef had it in the game. That's really dope. So this is exactly the way you play it on the Hermitcraft server. You know, give or take some quality of life features like having a digital hand opposed to having to use a shulker box for your hand and having to use redstone to draw cards and display the amount of life you have. You know, we got some quality of life digital features, but other than that, this is it's almost an exact replica of what they have inside the game. So that's pretty dope all in its own. Now off the rip, the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to attach a double item card to my guy. Now automatically activated his tier 2 attack bird poop so off the rip we're doing 80 damage to start let's go hit him hard now I'm, I'm gonna you know what i'm actually not gonna refrain from doing this well i'll wait a turn to play an extra hermit because you, you know what? i'll play it now i'll play extra hermit now because to show you this is an afk hermit afk essentially means the hermit that's on the bench and not actively in battle at the moment the active hermits are right side up. The AFK hermits are sideways. So there you go. I can attack down. Bird poop. 80 damage. End my turn. Now make sure before you attack like I just did, you do everything you wanted to do. Like place your hermits. Place your item cards. You do all of that stuff before you attack. That way. Because once you attack, you can't do anything else. But end your turn and draw a card. So there we go. We drew a tango. I'm glad I didn't place an item card last turn because I kind of want to put that on Tango. So he has access to his PvP green card. Oh, he's going to be deadly. And he has a bow. So he's going to be shooting my AFK guy for 20 damage, for 40 damage. And he's going to be doing 100 to me. And he played a, a Etho. So he got super lucky with the Etho in his opening draw. So he hit me for 40 and then hit me for 100 here. Pretty, 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 pretty pretty dangerous i should say now what we're gonna do i'm pretty sure he has a lead but it doesn't matter we're gonna play our tango here and we're gonna also put down an item card on our tango and we're also going to he can do 160 max next turn so he can't kill us good so we're just gonna attack and attack normally yeah 80 damage end our turn oh we get armor pretty good now we can use this armor to beef up one of our other cards that's gonna come in next now we're waiting to see what he's gonna do he has a, a etho card out now, as you can see, this essentially works just like the Pokemon trading card game. You place your Pokemon, you put your resources behind them, you attack, pass the turn. You play your spell cards here in the middle. You can only play one effect card per turn, and you can play as many, one item card per turn, and as many, you can put down as many Hermits as you want per turn. So you can place as many Hermits on the board as you want, but you can only place one item per turn one effect in this slot per turn and one effect in this slot per turn and you got to do all of that stuff before you attack so be careful now we could do something interesting here as you can see we'd, we're dead if we leave our guy in so there's a few things we can do we can hit him for 80 and just kamikaze our guy we lose bring somebody else out fresh with a fresh armor 
or we can play the armor to prevent 20 damage he's gonna it's gonna make it so he can't kill us in one swipe he's gonna need two turns to kill us so we end up killing him so we draw first blood then he comes back and retaliates to kill us anyway and we kind of waste an armor and we do risk him playing an effect card to get through our armor or add extra damage to get the damage through so that's a thing there do we want to draw first blood and just set up our next guy or do we want to just go ahead and make him have to hit us twice oh actually wait oh double damage versus builders oh this is a pvp type i think the the play here is first things first add an item card to yes impulse i'm gonna add item card to impulse i'm gonna do something he's definitely not gonna uh, um, expect i'm gonna do splash potion of healing apply the single use effect yes now he definitely can't kill us in one turn so, and we can still put the effect on somebody else. He's still going to have to use one of his effect cards. So, we just use the healing to get around his effect. Perfect. Now, if he doesn't kill us this turn, we're going to draw first blood anyway. Good. We got a Zuma. I'm glad I didn't play this because we might want to put it on Zuma. Well, actually, we're going to put it on him for extra flea. Let's see what he decides to do. Okay. He's going effect card. What does this do? Curse of Binding. Oh, we can't swap out. He made it so we can't switch out. Okay, good. Also, he must be worried about us switching out. Okay, good. We didn't plan on switching out. So, we'll go armor on zuma because since he can't steal it right now we'll play zuma we'll actually hold this we'll hold this for now we don't need to play it just yet because we can put it on him whenever he hits the field and we'll just attack since we can't we can't flee so we will attack bird poop we get the knockout we got the item card great he does have builders man that's why he want to knock us out Okay, he definitely wanted to kill us because he has a builder deck. A minor deck. Oh, I keep getting builder and minor mixed up. Excuse me. And we can end our turn. Oh, we drew a prize card. We actually drew a card from his deck. That's a very valuable card we took from him too. I'm glad we drew first blood because he would have been drawing that card and fully activating B-dubs. I mean, Etho. Let's end our turn and then we draw the card for the turn. There we go. Now we got our Joe Hills online pretty good let's see what he does now all right he activated ethos first attack he's going in for 30 get the kill all right it's still his turn all right he end the turn i'm gonna activate tango and yeah I'm gonna add the item to him and i'm gonna smack b dubs i'll keep calling him i'm, I'm gonna smack ether and i'm gonna swap in impulse and i'll end my turn all right i got an effect card 40 damage to afk hermit all right he fully activated his b dubs He's going to go for the snipe on my Tango while he's on the bench. Pretty smart. Oh, triple hit with B-dubs. Nasty. Oh, he sniped my Zuma. Okay. I'm going to get super risky here. And I'm going to keep him in. And... Put it all on B-Dub's ability to draw 
Oh, I got chorus fruit. That's good. Get three tails again. Oh, he got it. He needed one, actually. Ooh, that's nasty. Eee. He actually got me. Pretty good. All right, I'm, I'm good, I'm good. Um, I think that's a win for me. If he can't, if he doesn't have another hermit, then one hit KO should be the end. But just in case, I'll put down Joe and I'll attack. I'm not gonna use the chorus fruit. Game over. We won our first game. There we go. Pretty dope. Now, there you go. This game is absolutely amazing. We're going to run a few more games, but I just, just wanted to show you guys exactly how to play the game and how do you get it. You can check the description box below and get all the good stuff like that as far as the links. But let's jump into another game. All right. We started off with a dock and we go first. Let's place our dock on top. We're going to load dock right up. We're loading dock all the way up. We're going crazy on dock. We're loading dock up off the rip. We're going fully loaded dock. The mad scientist. This is my mad scientist deck and I'm going to end the turn. I know he's sitting there like what? He put down all of his hermits ASAP. He started. He led with redstone etho. Flip a coin. If has this attack also burns the opponent. Does an additional 20 damage per turn until the unit is knocked out. So he can burn our our hermits. Even if we AFK, we're still burned. So that's something we got to watch out for. Now, Doc is going to kick this off with the first attack on Etho. We're going, we throwing TNT every single turn, by the way. World Ear, TNT, Flip. Oh, we got a, we got a Tails. We could have almost one-shotted him. But we'll end the turn. All right. We got Joe Hills. Good stuff. All right. He's automatically activating his other hermits. He doesn't want. He know. He know he's not going to be in a battle long. All right. We're going to put down Joe. Put down an item. Play our TNT. TNT does 60 damage to the hermit during the attack and 20 damage to us. But we actually don't. <clears throat> wait. Oh, we still take the damage from, we still took the damage. Something is weird. Uh, we weren't supposed to take any damage. All right. It only blocked 20. It only blocked. It didn't block any of the damage. I guess this only blocks damage from attacks, not the TNT. Okay, good. Now, now that we know. Let's attack. World Eater. Oh, we got another Tails. All right, we still good. We can end the turn. Flip a coin twice, 40 damage for every heads. Pretty dangerous. Another TNT. Back to back TNT. World Eater. Got him down to 70. Oh, man. Woo. We're going to play an item. Oh, we can't play the item. Man, we messed that up. We were supposed to get Joe active. All right, he get to flip his coins. Oh, he got the lead. He had to lead. Oh, he had to lead. Pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. All right, we'll play an item card. He thought he can stop our dock, but he couldn't. Do a normal attack, shadow attack. No. Place down impulse. Oh, we can't end the turn. We attacked, yeah. Oh, we got our tango. Pretty good. He's going to swap out probably. Oh, he got our dock. He sniped our dock. Okay. Okay. Well, hopefully we get the time skip. 
let's play tango with an item please get the time skip flip oh we got a tails okay no problem who are you gonna put out now all right we're gonna keep on powering up tango Ooh, nasty. Okay, we're gonna go extra flea here and poison. Okay, and we're gonna hit him normally. In the turn. All right, we're gonna be able to do extra flea next turn. Pretty good. All right, our turn. Let's do this. Let's put Joe down. I'm being impulse. I'm sorry. And we're actually gonna put in. We can't put an item on him. We're actually gonna. Let's go, Joe. Time skip, Joe. Oh uh, no, no time skip for Joe. All right. Got a chorus fruit though. Pretty good. Pretty healthy. All right, let's see what he does this turn. Is he going to swap out or is he going to keep his guy in? Forced to swap out from me. Okay. Pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. Well, uh, yeah. Well, no, we're not going to do this. We're going to put this down first. Yes, we need to be able to attack. And I think we extra flee into this guy to get him one last attack -o so he doesn't die on the bench. Well, if that's the case, then he's definitely going to die on the bench. Hmm. I can't bring him out. Maybe I can... Oh, I have to switch to someone else. Okay, well. Interesting. Okay. Now, Mumbo Jumbo, flip a coin twice. Okay, it's my turn now. Hmm. Okay, well, what we're going to do is Chorus Fruit after this attack. We're going to go Big Damage, Chorus Fruit. Chorus Fruit allows us to swap out after we attack. So we're going to kind of swap back and forth. Eskal. Oh, he got a lead item. And he got a prize. Good stuff. We got a bow. We need to pull. We might be in trouble, actually. The way it's looking. 
We don't have that extra item card. Yeah, we might be in a lot of trouble here. All right. He went for a switch. Well, we're going to have to rebuild, so let's go for a swap ourselves. Can he kill? He, yeah, he can kill. And we're going for a swap ourselves. Swapping takes your attack turn. Alright, we're going to attack I Jevin on the bench and Etho. And hope to God we stay alive. I doubt it, but... Alright, good game. He played a TNT. And got us. Pretty good. We lost our second game. Alright, let's see if we can go best out of three. Let's go. Alright. We're going to start this off running Tanky Joe. Let's do it. Let's put Joe at the top. We're going to throw Netherite on Joe. Tanky Joe Hills. And we're gonna just put one item card on him and we'll end our turn. Oh man, we got nothing but tanks. We got Candid Crafter. He's gonna lead with a Redstone Tango. Attach an item and hit for 60. Pretty tough, pretty hard, pretty heavy damage there. We negate the first 30 damage, 40 damage, and he's gonna skip our turn. Huh. Then he hit us again. He's going to skip our turn and hit us again. Now he's hitting us for 70. With the TNT activated. Oh, he's going off. This guy means business. All right, we're going to play a dock. We're going to activate time skip on him. We're going to put this on dock. We're going to... One item card, one effect card per turn. All right. We're going to time skip him. And Joe never fails. Good job, Joe. In the turn... He doesn't get a turn and we get to go again. Great. Now we can do the same thing we just did to him or we can do double armored dock. Um, I'm thinking for now we're good like this. I do want to attach an item though. Okay. Um, I'll attach a normal item to dock. I don't want him to use a lead and get extra value out of the lead and time skip them normally and in my turn oh he lucky we didn't draw TNT there he pulled the chest he's gonna pull out the clock all right I've seen this before attack in this turn hmm He's going to skip my turn next turn, unless we can skip his turn this turn. Okay, we'll go item the dock and time skip him. And that should be the game. That should be GG. He can't do anything. We'll end this turn and we get to TNT him for the, for the win. <laughs> that was good. Armored Joe for the win. <laughs> Armored Joe is OP. All right. Uh, there you go. Now, if you want to check this game out, like I said, we have some description information in the description box below. You can check the links out. Hit the Discord up. Salute to the creator of this digital version of this game. I'm going to keep it real. Honestly, I've been playing this game all day. 
building decks, theory crafting, going crazy. I've watched every single Hermitcraft TCG episode up until date. I've also watched every single Hermitcraft episode that Vintage Beef made creating the Hermitcraft TCG. I basically watched every Vintage Beef Hermitcraft episode since back in the days. I don't think I've missed an episode of him, Doc, or Etho since they've been on Hermitcraft. So yeah, that's some of my favorite stuff to watch on YouTube with my kids and stuff like that. But with that being said, all right, all right, we're going to end the video here. If you're interested in playing this game, we got some information in the description box below. I appreciate you for tuning in. I'll catch you in the next one. It's your boy DB4, and I'm out. Peace.